So I am so happy to be here to present my paper, and I hope you will enjoy it. So my study is about the mirror depictions in the mirror tombs, um, especially during the Northern Song Dynasty, which means from the, ninth, uh, the 10th centuries to the 12th centuries. And my focus is the Zhengzhou area. So um, I would like to begin my presentation with this three brilliant painting. So my motivation, um, which drives me to um, choose this kind of research topic is because the beautiful painting about women and um, we each call the Shi Nu Hua in Chinese. And so from the Song Dynasty, the woman and mirror motif become um, popular during that time. Um, um, we would consider about maybe we can gain a vague sense of the, there are some relationship between the femininity and the mirror, but we don't know how it happened and why. So my aim in this research is to try to gain some kind of the uh, systematic analyze on it. And also uh, mirror and scissor, they are also the popular brief good in women's terms uh, in a certain time. And what is more is like not only in China, outside the region of China. Um, there are also some uh, women and mirror motif in artwork. For example, uh, as I show here in India, and you can also see like depiction of a lady holding a mirror in wax paintings in Greece. So here is a map of the order um, terms I consider in my research. According to my research, there are 19 well-preserved mirror terms in the Zhengzhou area. And 10 of them include the mirror depictions. And we can find 12, totally 12 mirror depictions from the 10 terms. So here in this map, the blue pings show the terms with the mirror depictions and the red pings show the terms without the mirror depictions. And all my data are based on the um, excavation report. Uh, sorry, I, maybe just my computer is too hot. Uh, can I stop the sharing and share again? Sorry. Yes, so here we get the 12 mirrors from these 10 terms. And I will show you how I um, make an analyze on them in all the following pages. So for the methods, at first I will regard the term itself as a whole entity. So I would consider whether there are some relationship between the gender or the sex of the um, tomb occupants and the mirror depictions. So I try to find some information about the skeleton remains, but unfortunately it's like um, we, most of the sex of the um, tomb occupants haven't been identified. Um, so the next step, we move to the iconography, analyze of all the mirror depictions. Here I list three authors and their work which inspired me. So the first is the Pollock. It's like her investigation on the space and the spatial um, arrangement in paintings inspired me to investigate the relationship between mirror and the space it locates. And also Wu Hong, he proposed the notion of feminine space in Chinese art. And also he emphasized the, the spaces in Chinese art are gendered. So for example, the exterior space, they are masculine normally. And normally the interior space are feminine. And also in the face paper, 
And so she analyzed the scissors and iron patterns in the terms, which inspired me to um, make my analyze on how the how we can use the feminine space as a basic concept to um, conduct my uh, analyze in the mirror depictions in the inside the terms. Here I would um, like classify all the mirror depictions into three categories. So the first category first group is that all the mirrors here in this group they are all used by a woman and they are using for beautification purpose so here in these three um, mirrors all the women are using the um, mirror to making care and the second group we can see all the mirrors are held by female attendants how can we identify the female attendants first is by the size so obviously the size, they are smaller um, than the two main feature in the center. And also they are standing while the two main feature here are sitting. It's also the same in this one. So one is sitting and the other is standing. One is bigger in size and the other is smaller. And also another thing we found is that um, the third group all the mirrors are shown as interior furniture. So they are appear with other um, objects together in the mirrors, for example, like the irons and scissors and the clothes hanger we have mentioned. So in the funerary context, the iron and scissors may be representative of a certain kind of uh, woman's work and woman's responsibility of making clothes or silk making activity. So when mirror are show placed together with this kind of um, women's objects, we could assume a certain association between the mirror and femininity. Um, so another thing I would like to uh, point out is that there is a significant char characteristics um, in all the um, mirror depictions that's that all the mirror, they are show in interior spaces. Um, how can we identify the interior spaces, for example, by the furniture or also, for example, by a specific um, the framing device? Here I show is the curtain in the blue circle. So in all these five examples, or in these four examples, um, a curtain are show in the scenes. So this kind of curtain, they serve as a function to divide the, all the, the space from the inside and the outside. So all the features show inside, they are separating from the outside world. So what I can conclude is that, firstly, is the phenomenon. All of the mirror depictions in the mirrors, they are mm, show together with female features and female's uh, belongings. And the second, all the mirror depictions, they are shown in interior spaces. And so I propose in this kind of context, mirror could be an element of the feminine space in terms. It's not only because mirrors and other women's objects, they provide some um, pr practical function for women to use, but also because the meaning behind them So here in this page, um, I would like to uh, make an analyze on the meaning of the mirror in the funerary context. I would say mirrors symbolize the womanly appearance in this context. So womanly appearance is one of the four virtues for women. So it's a kind of confusion perspective things. A womanly appearance, they are important. So they are also priests in the tomb inscriptions. The tomb inscription is normally like record the achievements of uh, the deceased. So once the womanly appearance or the appearance is priced in the inscription, we can imagine how, how important it is. Also in all the mirror depictions in these tomb mirrors uh, maybe reflect a certain kind of social reality. For example, due to the women trafficking and the courtesan culture developed, 
and the women need to share their uh, husband with other people, with other concubines. So to hold their lover or their husband's heart, they have to um, cut away their appearance and try to increase their erotic attraction. So in this kind of context, a mirror would be a necessary tool for that. Also mirror depiction, they are also show um, in interior space. Uh, maybe it also reflect the gender separation, a certain kind of the gender ideology in the Confucian perspective, which means men and women, they have their own responsibilities and they have their own business. So they should not cross the boundary. So after analyze the mm, depiction of mirror and the meaning behind mirrors in the funerary context, we would ask a question is like, why the mirror is chosen to represent the femininity? So uh, maybe we can consider from a broader cultural context. That's like, there are some certain relationships between mirrors and femininity. The two things I would think about is, the first thing is that mirror is important in women's love, especially women's um, is a love token in for women and also mirrors, they are important ritual objects in wedding. You can see here in the yellow circle is a new couple and in the red circle is a mirror. The new couple is bowing to the mirror in their wedding. Also, there are some certain um, erotic meaning um, of the mirror. For example, here is a mirror, you can see four couples, they are making love on the back of the mirror. Uh, in other painting, it's a erotic painting. You can see a lady is holding a mirror and she is making love with her lover. So when we chase back where the, this kind of erotic meaning come from, we maybe think about the story or the anecdote of the Empress Wu. Um, so she constructed the hall of mirror and in where she had fun with all her lovers. Finally, I would like to conclude uh, all the thing I present. So first is also the phenomenon. In the funerary context, mirrors are show together with female features and women's belongings. And because of this kind of depictions and their meaning behind the mirror, they construct a feminine space inside the grips. And also the cultural meanings of mirrors may influence the representation of mirror motif in two mirrors because the relationship between the mirrors, mirrors and femininity, they are chosen to represent femininity in grips. Finally, I would like to end my presentation with these three um, picture. So it's interesting here, we should always remember one thing is that mirror is not only used by women, but also used by men. And here these two mirrors, they are found within one tomb. They are painted symmetrically uh, on the tomb. Here in the left side, a man's head is placed beside the, uh, a mirror. And here, a, a woman's headdress is put beside the woman's headdress. So we should not always like arbitrarily um, define a space as a feminine space because we see the appearance of mirror. We should also consider um, other elements in the depictions. So that's all my representation. So thank you very much. Thank you for giving me, provide me with this chance to present my research. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.